。每次走过熟悉的街道，你和昨天还在这里停靠。那么多扇温暖的窗口，哪一个能收留我的微笑？曾经多少泛黄的美好，任由季节的风去平调，已经戒了往事的味道，我的心不会没。What's your name? Tater. He's the only one. Yeah, he's the only one. Doesn't look right. It was urgent, and we only have him. It's very late. Did you want me to steal another boy and bring him to you? Shall we take him in? Okay. Dong Sa Sa. Officer Lee just found another boy from a rescue. Meet him. See if he's your boy. Hey, what are you doing? Peeing. You want to pee, but you can't do it here. You got to use the toilet. Go. Turn left. Dong Sa Sa, don't give up yet. In the morning, there'll be more rescued children. You can go and see. Bright, bright sunshine, blue, blue sky. Bright, bright sunshine. Green, green grass, pale, pale moon. What were you just singing? I don't know. Well, where did you learn it? I don't know. Who taught you? I don't know. I could sing it since I was small. Hey, what are you doing? Sing it. Sing what? Sing the song you were just singing. It's not a song. Sing it. Blue, blue sky, bright, bright sunshine. The puppies chasing the bee. Go on. Green, green grass, mellow, mellow moon. Sunshine. Sunshine. When you were little. There was a toy giraffe this big. You held it all the time. Do you remember? 
remember. Huh? And the red bicycle you loved. I bought it for your for your birthday. Do you remember? I used to take you to the zoo every week. Remember the small pony you liked a lot? We took lots and lots of cucumbers to feed the pony every day together. Do you remember? It was a red pony. Its mane was black. <laughs> this is incredible. Hot up. The boy has to stay with me tonight. He'll be taken care by the civil administration department until the maternity test is complete. We'll conduct the maternity test tomorrow. Once we have a result, you can leave with the boy. Come back. You need to rest. Let me take him now. I'm sorry. Come on. Sorry to do He'll be fine. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. <laughs> You've had pride at all we need. You can take the boy when you're ready. Thank you, Officer Lee. Good yeah. Huh? I'll leave them with you. Sure. Xuan Xuan? Take care of them. Thanks. Xuan Xuan. Thank you. Get off me! What game are you playing? Get off! You're my only kid. <sighs> Come on, let's go. I want to have a look. That's my computer! It's not your computer. It belongs here. Go home with your mom. No way. Now you must. Your mom has been looking for you for years. And one more thing. You should thank me because I helped you find your mom. You should learn to be polite. Got it? Huh? Alright. Since I want to be a good boy, I'll hug you.
Let's go. Shun Shun? Let go of me and cover my eyes now. Why are you doing this? Let me see. Let me see. Just a moment. Three. Let me see. Two. One. Wow. Whose room is this? This is your room. All your things. I kept everything. I knew you'd come back. These are really all mine? <laughs> They're all yours. Do you like it? Yes! Hooray! <laughs> Absolutely. So fast, when's the wedding? Come on. I found my son. Oh, oh my God. Congrats. Xiao Min. Uh? To celebrate Deng Cao Cao finding her son. Today, let's buy the 15 yuan lunch set. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you don't need to. Just save the company money for other things. Xiao Min, did you hear that? Learn from Xiao Xiao. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Fung. Here, take some. You remember to come to work. Come to my office. Hey, 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 hey! This is for Sun Da Sheng. He's a little boy. Uh. Huh? Stingy. Why haven't the documents I need this afternoon been copied? I'm sorry. I had some personal matters to attend to. So what? Is that your reason for not coming in for a week? Do you think we're a charity? You got the job because of Sun Nan Wei. If you don't want the job, you can go. I'm sorry, Miss Hung. I'll get straight to it. Bring them back here before one. Okay. You found your son? But you won't be a good mother until you're able to support him fully. Since I want to be a good kid, I'll hug you. I didn't realize it was gone. You're very observant. That's how I used to be. I'll get your car washed. That's okay. I'm about to go out. Another business trip? No. Personal matter. All right, okay. Later then. Hello, Auntie. It's Charé. Uh, I haven't seen you for a really long time. I missed you. Is that so? <laughs> Great. I I'm free today. Let me pick you up. We can go shopping and have dinner together. All right. Okay. See you then. 
<laughs> this is so heavy. Is this okay? <laughs> Move it this way a little bit. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, this is so, so heavy. That's it. Um, let's see. Looks quite nice after a bit of cleaning. <laughs> Great. Cozy place for my boy. Congrats. For finding some happiness. <laughs> You're in my way! Huh? Can't you hear me? Get out of my way! Well, he's so polite. Kids, am I right? You've kept all these books? I got married straight after graduating. I didn't think I would need them again. Kept them anyway. Who knew I'd work in law again? As the old saying goes, you never know what will be of use again. There's about a hundred days until the bar exam. Here is what I must prepare for it. I must pass. Then I can make a living as a lawyer and give my son a better life. Hey, Sacha. Does he know you found Shanshan? If he knows and was willing to remarry you, would you consider? I think you need to get together to discuss it. No matter what, he's the father of your son. Huh! You see, Sun Nanwei, we've been divorced for a long time. But for our son, we still have to live together. All these years I've been living life like a homeless person. I've been told so many lies. And I finally have my son back. I want to make changes. Start a new life. I want myself to be capable of starting a new life with Shinshin. I don't want him to know. Otherwise, he'll do whatever he can to take my son away from me. Hey, I'm hungry. Who are you talking to? That's your mother. All right, all right. Okay, fine. Bad manners. Stay for dinner, Lee-Wan. No, I'm leaving. My boy is waiting for me to get gathered. See you later. Okay. Shenshen, later I'll take you to the supermarket. Bye-bye. Sorry for not seeing you out. No problem. Stay in touch. Where are your parents? How dare you steal things? You really need discipline. Shenshen! What are you doing? Is this your son? What happened? He stole from my son. Stole what? Look, it's in his hand. Do you believe me now? Who said it's yours? I found it myself. Give back my transformer. Shen Shen, the boy lost his transformer. Return it to him. No way! I found it. Why should I give it away? Even if you found it, it's still not yours. Give it back. No, I won't. Give back my transformer. Hey! Son. I'm son. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Give me. Give me. Stop. Give it All back. right. Enough. Stop fighting. All right. We just need to see what happened. I'm in charge of security here. I'll take you to the surveillance room. We can see if it was stolen or found. Come on. Go and see. We know what really happened. Come on, son. Shen Shen. Stop there. Make the record. It's evidence. Now you see it. Can you still deny it? Xuanzhen, give the boy back his toy. No way. Apologize and give him back his toy. No way. If you like it, I'll buy you one, alright? Be a good boy and give it back to him, okay? No way. Listen to what I said and give it back. Roll my transformer. Buy me a new one. Coward. What did you say? Apologize to him right now. No. Now!
Do you hate my son or what? Can you calm down? I came over here to speak with your son. If you want something, don't take it. Don't lie. Don't take without permission. You understand? What do you mean? Does security suspect my son of anything else? Give me back my bullet shell. What bullet shell? The one with my keys before. I didn't take it. Another lie. He said he didn't take it. He said he didn't take the transformer either. Give it. See? Check me. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Stop it! What are you doing? You see now? You said he doesn't steal. This is the proof. So stop yelling and avoiding the problem. Kids develop bad habits easily. He was away so many years, you don't know what habits he's adopted. Discipline him, or others will do it for you. Whatever habits he has, he is my son. I know how to raise him. It's just a bullet shell. How can you call him a thief? You just threw that? I did. I've had that bullet for 24 years. It's the first bullet I shot the first year I joined the army, and you just threw it? Nobody can call my son a thief. You know what? If you weren't a woman, you wouldn't be standing right now. Screw you. Jesus Christ. Why don't you move in and live with your son? Are you afraid it would be awkward if you got a girlfriend? <sighs> no, I'd be very happy if he had a girlfriend. Why wouldn't I? As you know, he's been divorced for more than five years. It's time he made a new start before he gets too old. But he's just too stubborn. He doesn't listen to me. I have a feeling that he has a girlfriend. Are you sure about that? Did he tell you? No, it's just a feeling. He's been really weird lately. <sighs> Shen Shen, if you like something or want something, just tell me. I'll buy it for you. Just don't take other people's things, all right? Where's my dad? Your dad? If I'm in trouble someday, I should turn to my dad. How can you help me? Your dad and I are separated. We didn't get along well, and we haven't seen each other for a long time. So he doesn't want me either. He does want you. We both love you. So where is he now? Why hasn't he visited me at all? <sighs> He's... Look! Your dad is like them. He's a soldier. He's working far away, protecting our country. So we can live safely. Your dad and his fellow soldiers are protecting us right now. They're heroes. They're all heroes. <sighs> They're pretty cool, right? He's so cool. When will he be back? When he finishes his tour, he'll be back to see you. Okay, then I can wait for him. <laughs> but make sure you tell him that when he comes back, to wear his uniform. That way, I'll be really impressed. All the other kids will definitely listen to me then. Xiao Rei. Yeah? Do you have a boyfriend? No. Uh. <laughs> Do you feel that Gong Jian is a bit old for you? 
You are making fun of me. Hey, these sheets are really nice. Oh. <laughs> this is really nice. Uh, not that Gong Jin would ever notice. You know what? He has no sense of beauty. He normally favors ugly things. It doesn't matter what he thinks, as long as you like it. Look, I'm buying it. Consider it my first present to you. <laughs> Don't tell Sal, you're so selfish! I came to look for your son with you, not see you kill your- Ma! You moved in? I have. I hope that's okay. Of course. You should have moved in a long time ago. I asked you so many times to live with me. It's a really big house. I get lonely. Okay, I promise. I'll come stay with you from time to time. Uh, Mom. How did you get in? I opened the door, of course. But you don't have a key. I don't. But somebody does. The bed's with the new sheet now. Mr. Gong. The spare key is for emergencies, not spot checks. Don't be so rude. Uh, your mum bought some bedding for you and wanted to bring them here. She doesn't have a key, so I came with her. Um, if you want, I can give the key to her. No need, you take it. Come on, let's have dinner. It's all right, Auntie. Sorry, I can't stay for dinner. Come on. It's ready. I really can't. I'll see you soon. See you. Sit. Sit. Why must you talk to Chao Sha Rei like that? I just don't like it when people come in and out any time they feel like it. It's because I asked her to. She's such a nice girl spending the whole day with me. Just like family. Ma, Cha Cha Ray and I are just colleagues. Why should that fact matter? You and her are both single. Give it some time and you may see what happens to you. Nothing will happen just as usual. Ma, could you please stop this? How can I just stop? You need to find a girl who wants to spend the rest of her life with you and only you. As I see, Chao Sha Rei is that kind of girl. When it comes to marriage, you need to find someone who loves you and who you love back. Hey, where are you going? Dinner is here. Washing my hands. Can you make another copy of the key for me? Sure.
Hey, yeah. have you had lunch? Eat this. Uh, what about Miss Fang? She doesn't want it. Deng Cao Cao, what are you busy with? I'm cleaning. I hired you to be a legal assistant here, not to clean. That's not your job. That's not what you're paid to do. <sighs> but I don't have any other work to do. But did I not tell you? Your job now is to put our name out there, to find more cases. I'm begging you. Don't waste your time on unimportant tasks. If you're busy looking for cases that I don't see you for a few days, I will be happy. I, uh, business is not looking very good these days. Mr. Soon, I have an idea. Go ahead. We can move the office to my home, right? My parents are not there right now. If we did this, I could stay home. And you would save rent money here. Nonsense. You're not talking sense. We couldn't do anything to tarnish the reputation for a founding lawyer, Mr. Lu, who is sick. He just had a stroke. We should always remember his words. Our workplace. Our workplace is important. If we work from an apartment, who would want to do business with us? Ay. Is this a 5 yuan lunchbox? It is. Huh. Fish flavored pork. There's no meat. Just shredded carrots. Did you not check? I'm gonna quit. Hey, Xiao Min. Xiao Min. She's leaving? She's left over 40 times. She'll return. I'll get you some water. My dear Miss Fang, you read fashion magazines all day at work. What can you possibly gain? You tell me, is it how to meet Mr. Wright? Or how to make money? Do you expect clients to come here to offer you work while you sit around reading magazines? Are you finished? I am. Here, your water. Deng Cao Cao, I'm not asking you to work here as a waitress. I'm asking you to... I'll go find some cases. What kind of a life is this? Eating carrots? Ugh. Oh, you know, we've known each other for a long time. It's the first time we've had dinner together. Is it really the first time? Mm-hmm. It can't be. It can't be so. Surely not. It really is the first time. The first time not for work. Really? Uh-huh. I think so. It's also the first time we've come to such a romantic place. You think so? It feels quite romantic. I like the outfit you're wearing. Is that so? I actually wear it all the time. You just never notice.
I was raised in an orphanage. If I don't remember special things well, then no one will. Right. Um, do you know if your orphanage received our donation this year? Yes, they did. Thanks, Mr. Gong, for your generosity. Don't mention it. I should thank your orphanage for raising you to be such a wonderful help to me. Shaore, I need to thank you. I wouldn't have been able to have such a successful career without you by my side. Many people I meet tell me all the time about how you're one capable and tough personal assistant. Oh, I don't really mean to be so tough. Deep down, I really am like a, a simple, normal person who wants to marry a man I love as early as I can. At that point, I will stop working and have a child soon. As I see, a woman's purpose isn't to be a businesswoman, but it's to raise her family, take care of her husband and children. Um, that's what real happiness is. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Am I wrong? Do you really think that way? Of course I do. <laughs> then, if you get married, I'll lose my assistant. I don't really get what you're saying. So what is on your mind? Nothing's on my mind. You know, I'm actually pretty selfish at work. Overbearing. Oh, sorry. I gotta make this call. Hey, Guan Hao. Where are you? I need to talk to you. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's something important. I've got to go. I'll make it up to you, though. All right, don't worry. <sighs> you left after she ordered. I thought you were only tough at business. I guess I was wrong. Ah. But didn't you tell me that you can't have feelings for her? But after I thought about it a while, I realized I don't feel anything at all. You are feeling the pressure. What do you mean? Your assistant has befriended your mother. And your mother desperately wants you two to date and then get married. I don't think you really want to get married. You seem quite against that idea. Perhaps that's why you're pushing her away. That makes sense. Why not get married? It doesn't last. But how do you know that a marriage with her wouldn't work? You told me that you thought she'd be a model wife. That she's your type. I thought my ex-wife was perfect when we first got married. I felt that she was an ideal match. But the fact of marriage is that a close couple can become strangers. And it happens before you realize it. You never expect it. It's almost as if it's inevitable. However hard people try, eventually they end up in the same situation. Why do it again if it'll just end badly? Husband and wife. Dearest strangers we know. Let's have a toast to our most dearest strangers. What are you doing? Have a look. Okay. Mr. Gong, you wanted to see us? Yes. Mr. Liu, Shunzi. Starting tomorrow, I, I won't be coming here every day. Make sure all, all the procedures that I made are followed. Don't lose focus while I'm not here. Understand? Oh, we, we do. do. We do. Hmm. You're a busy man. You shouldn't have to work here all day without nothing, that's for sure. Not here every day? You mean you still come sometimes? Right. Here's the key to my motorcycle. 
If I need it again, I'll ask you. Oh. Hmm. Are you leaving now? Um, I'll have a look around the community. Well, sure. Hey, who do you think you are? Where did you get that cap? Who left you in charge? If you don't give me the money, I won't let you in. Hey, you little bully. Do as I say. Now move it, or I'll call the guard. Don't you feel embarrassed? Your lies are exposed. And you don't even feel shame? You borrowed a suit. And also a car? Just to impress me on a date. Ma'am! Who's give kidding? me some food! Why are you I haven't eaten dad? anything for days! Hey, hey, Please what are you, give me some food! Hey, what are you doing? My Where mom is a cripple! My dad is hey, a drunk! Come on! Excuse me! Excuse me! Look! What's going on here? There's a kid here. beggar here. Uh, How did you let this happen? Why didn't you stop Give me a bite, hey, please. Where are your parents? Chang Dan Fong. 